my, my. What beautiful blossoms we have this year. But look, this one's late. But I'll bet that when it blooms, it will be the most beautiful of all. So we have to understand today that impatience is a fruit of the flesh. And true godly patience is a fruit of the Spirit. You know, really, it's not that difficult to start. Everybody's excited, everybody's enthusiastic. It's new, so there comes a certain amount of emotions and excitement with it. But all that will fade away. You'll come to the time where nobody's clapping, nobody's cheering. You're the only one. You begin to wonder yourself if it's ever going to come to pass. And that's where you have to make your mind up if you can go all the way through. Love, joy, peace, patience. Now, patience is not just an ability to wait. I, I'll give you a little understanding today that you may not know. You're going to wait. Doesn't matter whether you want to or you don't, whether you like it, whether you don't, whether you wait well, whether you wait bad. None of that matters. Waiting is a fact of life. A dream comes to pass <laughs> with prayer, much business, and painful effort. But I'm going to tell you that it just simply takes time. God works on the law of gradual growth. I would not even know how to begin to tell you all the different phases and stages that I've gone through to get from where I started to where I am. And I personally am very disturbed by all the people who give up in the middle. you're going to end up with just you and God and your dream and your pain <laughs> and you're going to be the one that's going to have to decide if you're going to go through or if you're going to give up I want to ask you this morning if you have the heart of a finisher